Hey guys, so today we shall find a yield on these Nortel baby CPUs. Um, I've never done these before. I have a, I don't know, say two more than a pound. One more. The closest I could get to a pound without going over um, plus one. Now these CPUs obviously and apparently come looking like two different styles um, same looking CPU these uh, ones with the square pins all the way around are uh, a little bit less in weight than these bigger ones um, they have this five looking little deal with the CPU pins um, but today we're gonna be uh, making yield data on these um, standard uh, way of doing ceramics. Let me uh, get these things busted up and uh, see where we're at. So as I uh, broke off the top, I noticed right away um, bond wires, silicon die, basic CPU. Um, these are pretty cool looking. Um, pretty uh, excited about these. Um, I've never seen this style, those uh, flat connecting uh, pads, whatnot, where the bond wires connect to, are gold right there. That's pretty neat. So, just to look inside real quick. Okay, so I've uh, I've added all of these uh, Nortel CPUs into about 800 ml of water. Now, considering these are uh, ceramic CPUs. I believe there to be silver present in CPUs of this kind and and others. Um, you can process these with going aqua regia straight out, or you can, uh, you know, when you process like that, it will precipitate out your silver in a chloride, and it'll be in these CPUs. It'll be hard to filter. I like to make these as easy as possible and as clean as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do is use this water, which is, uh, it's purified, it's, it's the bottled water that we drink, um, it's not distilled, but it does not have any chlorines in it and whatnot, um, or any added flavors, enhancers like calcium, carbonate, or anything like that. It's just purified water, and, uh, I'm going to do a dilute nitric leach on these first and dissolve as much base metal as I can um, which will put the silver into solution and it'll stay in solution uh, which will be easily reclaimed and uh, washed from these uh, material and further processing will be a lot easier. I'm also going to add in some 3% hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to take this 800 ml and I'm going to add about 200 ml of peroxide and uh, from here, I'll go ahead and add my additions of nitrate. I'm using uh, nitric acid, and I will start out with around 50 ml of acid, and uh, add periodically as I need it. Um, this water I did warm up. It's, it wasn't boiling, but it was starting to show bubbles, so the reaction should be pretty quick. Um, put my watch glass on and I'll uh, leach these uh, ceramics um, and get rid of the uh, base metal as much as I can. Uh, the reason for the uh, peroxide, if you're wondering, is I've been taught by a few guys that, you know, as you add nitric to your, to your leachings and your solutions, it decomposes and uh, the hydrogen peroxide prolongs the life of the nitric decomposing the red NO2 gas that you see coming off whenever these cook. Um, this is an also a leach that has uh, peroxide and water in it. Um, it it will make the red NO2 gas, but it kind of it helps trap the nitric and make it work longer. You can see clearly that this the, the reaction has already started. Um, nothing really much to see. I'll go ahead and come back when this thing is leached up and we'll move on to the next step. So I'm denoxing this uh, 
acid with a uh, sulfamic acid. Um, I forgot to push uh, start on the first uh, pinch that I put in, <laughs> so you guys didn't get to see it. But I uh, I denox my free nitric with sulfamic acid, um, as you know. I uh, I did a status test right there. Uh, I looked inside of the beaker and I can see the uh, silicon dyes I have released from the CPUs. So, another pinch in there, slight to none reaction. Um, I would say that this is good to go. I'm going to. Uh, Show you how I like to uh, go from here. Just give me a second. Okay, so you guys know once I denox my solution, put in a little bit of sulfuric acid, and uh, I like to pour it over some. Uh, distilled ice um, cools it off dilutes it a little bit and drops out any remaining silver that's in there so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like all right so I use about a tray of ice um, I had a thousand ml of solution to start with so I added a tray of ice with the water and several rinses of the uh, beaker with the CPUs. So I approximately added another 275 mLs, maybe maybe 300. Uh, these actually look pretty clean. Um, I have no idea for a yield expectancy on this. Um, there it is. We'll go ahead and let this uh, chill for a while. Doesn't look like there's a, too many precipitants on the bottom, like silver and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this uh, rest and cool off some more. We'll filter and we'll do a drop. So we uh, begun filtering. Doesn't look to be too many contaminants in there. Um, I went ahead and uh, used the what man number two on this one. Uh, if it had uh, a lot of silver in there, I would have used a slower drip filter paper. Uh, but anyway. We shall uh, come back when this is ready. All right, so <clears throat> I started with the thousand mLs of uh, solution, uh, dissolving these uh, base metals and gold from the CPUs. After diluting with the ice, washing the filters, etc., I've added 400 mLs of solution. Now I could go ahead and do a drop with this much. But considering it was a pound of CPUs and I'm not expecting a huge yield, obviously I don't know. Never done these before. Um, I'm gonna do a quick Stannis test to give me maybe somewhat of a visual ID of uh, how much gold is in here. Um, it around a little bit take some put it on my spoon you know it, it looks quite weak in my opinion you know with the stannis we do have a positive but with this much solution you know there's quite a bit of a uh, waste to deal with so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
evaporate this solution down to get a more concentrated drop which will be better visually waste wise etc so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on evaporate it down get it right and then we'll get to the next drop so after uh, evaporating for some hours I uh, took it from a 1400 ml down to <clears throat> six and I noticed this precipitant on bottom I'm uh, not entirely sure um, exactly what it is um, I do not believe it to be silver but it possibly could have some also it's it's a metal salt that you know will come from concentrating the solution um, as much as I did so I'm gonna go ahead and filter this off See if I can't get this out. Um, thinking it could be a copper one uh, precipitant, but uh, either way, not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and filter this up and finish up this uh, this process. I have a filtered solution, and I have only four grams SMB in this. Um, maybe a tad much. But uh, I don't know what kind of a yield this is going to have. I just figured, uh, you know, part of the recovery, if I drop down other metals, I can refine it and look how it uh, precipitates out. <clears throat> don't see much of a reaction so far, but. Be patient and uh, let this uh, precipitate and uh, come back to this when uh, when it decides to uh, complete dropping or whatnot. The camera doesn't do any justice, but I can tell it's gotten a little bit dark. But anyway, we'll come back. So this has uh, had plenty of time to settle, and uh, I'm gonna do a quick stannis before I decant. Um, I do see powder on the bottom, so I'm pretty happy. The stannis result looks to be absolutely negative, which is good. Um, so yeah, I would uh, very much safely assume that all of the gold in this solution is dropped. Um, let me go ahead and decant this and I'll, uh, I will uh, get the uh, powder and uh, concentrate it and show you guys. Alright, so after decanting, we got some powder down there. Um, nowhere near a guess estimator, but if I had to, I'd say it's at least two grams, maybe a little more. Um, let me go ahead and uh, get this into a smaller uh, beaker and uh, dry it up. So we uh, got this uh, powder dried up, put it down hot, take it to my way station and see what we got here all right I swear I need to get me a GoPro or something man put on my put on my head while I do this stuff I could use both of my hands so if you guys want to buy me one just let me know I'll uh let you know where to send it. <laughs> Good lord, this thing's hot. Give me a second. This beaker's pretty damn hot still. One oh seven. I'm not quite done yet. I still got a little bit of a little bit of gold in there. Give me one second. Oh, there it is, man. Uh, 1.2 grams I recovered from uh, 
pound of those little Nortel uh, CPUs and uh, this gold is fresh from a drop it hasn't even been washed or cleaned um, I'm sure it'd probably lose a little weight by the time it gets to be refined and melted but uh, you know it's it's what I got from this man uh, kind of uh, thought it would be more honestly um, you know those little CPUs they, they looked there was a lot you know a little bit of a little bit of weight to make a pound you know 8.9 grams but I mean it is what it is you know um, I uh, guess that's it for now thanks for watching be safe don't forget to subscribe Sunny Ewes out